Big 12 Media Day marks the unofficial start to the college football season as players and coaches get to talk to the media for the first time all summer. For Texas's new head coach, Tom Herman, it was his first time at this event here in Frisco at the start. He's taking over a program that has not had much recent success. He told the media that when he talked to his players on the very first day, he asked them to raise their hand if they have ever been a part of a winning program while in Austin. Only three guys raised their hands, so a lot of questions were asked today about the expectations for this team, but Coach Herman said he doesn't know what their potential can be. When you talk about the past in terms of the history and tradition of the University of Texas football, that's what I think everybody gives everybody hope and confidence that we can we can get this thing back to where it has been and, and where it should be. Another new head coach in the Big 12, Matt Rule. He's taking over for Baylor. He said he knows the opportunity comes with a lot of challenges, but he's looking for the chance to instill a new culture in Waco. He told his players to not run from the past, but to learn from it. You know, the way I believe things is that, you know, you want to have a place where, where you're trying to, you know, sustain excellence every day. You know, sort of a, a community of excellence where, where everything counts, where every, everything that we ask the kids to do, we expect them to do at a high, high level. And, um, you know, where academics is the same as community service, is the same as football, is the same as the weight room. And you wake up each day, no matter how hard what you're being asked to do is, no matter what the weather is outside or how you feel, you have to go out there and, and be, you know, be the very best that you can be. And that means how we not only allow our kids to become great football players, but they also learn how to become great players. One guy that is not new to the Big 12, Oklahoma State's Mike Gundy. He is leading his team as they head into the season preseason number two. Their offense is known to be very explosive, but there are some questions about their younger defense. He said, give them a few games, and he knows they'll be just fine. I think we'll be better on defense than what people think, because I think we're faster. And then I was, I was saying earlier that over the last five or six years, we've got a little bit different cut of an athlete to start working with and recruiting. And they're a little taller, a little longer, a little faster. So we've got to have two or three guys that are in our secondary, for example, that need to play well this year that nobody really knows about because they haven't played. And they're a little further along athletically than what we've had five, six, seven years ago. So that's why I think it gives us a chance to be a little better. Someone who's been around even longer than Coach Gundy, Kansas State's Bill Snyder. He is currently the oldest coach in college football. He applauded his offensive lineman, Scott France, as he recently came out publicly as being gay. I thought the idea that he could help others really hit home, you know, with me at the time. So we decided to allow it to happen, and uh, and I think the response has been uh, has been uh, excellent uh, up to this point in time. So I'm I'm proud of him. I'm proud of our players and how they handle. It. Thanks for watching our Big 12 media coverage here in Frisco at the Star. I'm Austin Ivan for D210 Sports. You've just been credentialed.